In this video, I'm sitting down with Terry Tomlinson, the creator of the Flesh Tone Color Wheel, and I'm asking her all kinds of questions about how she got started and what it's been like working in the industry for 30 years. Hey guys, what's up? It's Shannon. Welcome back to my channel. I recently got back from a trip to Dallas where I took a workshop from the Terry Tomlinson Makeup Studio, and it was absolutely an incredible class, which we can go into in a whole separate video if y'all are interested. After we finished the class, I asked Terry if she'd be willing to sit down and talk to me. I am so excited to be rolling out this interview series all month long. I mean, she shared so much information that I had to break it into four videos, and it's awesome. Tell me how you first got started in this crazy industry. Well, it was kind of an accident. I have been doing makeup now for 30 years, and I really did not have a love of makeup. I did take some theater classes in middle school, but I was in college and I wanted to take off a summer and not take school and just relax. And my parents told me that if I would get a job, that I could go through the summer and not take any classes. And so what happened was I ended up getting a job at a department store and they put me at the Lancome counter. And I loved it. And I ended up staying there for like three semesters before I went back to school to finish. Wow. And I loved working for a cosmetic company. It was so glamorous and, and it really like just, I suddenly became just so passionate about it. And I never thought that I would be a makeup artist. But after I graduated, I was like, hmm, law school, keep working in makeup. It's so fun. Hmm. And at the time, I, for my age, I was making a lot of money. Yeah. Um, so I was like, I think I'll just keep doing this. And that's what happened. I just kept doing it. I want to backtrack a second because I want to know how you went from retail to commercial world. Because I know a lot of people are kind of in between on that transition and aren't sure when to leave or you know all of that stuff I think it's a tough transition to make because mm -hmm. retail if you can get into retail you can have a beautiful career right and a steady paycheck and and really you know you can work up in within the retailer or within the brand so there's mm -hmm. a lot of opportunity when I had been in retail for just about 10 years Wow I realized that I had kind of hit the glass ceiling mm -hmm. the job I always thought I wanted. I thought I wanted to be a trainer and an educator. Mm -hmm. And when I finally got the opportunity, I chickened out because I realized that I would not be healthy if I had to live on the road 28 days a month. Right. And so I was like, mm -hmm. I'll find another way to be an educator, which I did. And so I decided that I wanted to do something different and to break yeah. into production. And it was hard. It took me about a year and I sent myself to makeup school at MUD in LA, oh, wow. and I just started doing any portfolio testing I could, any free tests, and I wormed my way into an agency. And I was fortunate because back then, you had to be with an agent to do production, especially print. It was just, wow. there was no way to, it was like they were the gatekeepers, mm -hmm. and it's different now. And so I was able to just wiggle my way in with an agent and yeah. it just started my production career. That's amazing. And I love how you've come full circle back to education. Right, yes. which I had never, I <laughs> never thought that I would. Well, so let's talk about how your makeup studio, Terry Tomlinson Makeup Academy, is yes. that how it was born, how it happened. So I was doing a lot of um, production work, a lot of commercials and short films and a little bit of television when the big recession hit us in 08, 09. Mm -hmm. And it was, I was kind of at the peak of my career. I was doing really well, really happy. And all of a sudden my job started going away. Some of the companies I worked with went under, you know, bankrupt. And, wow. and so we all kind of, it was like the industry just stopped for a while. And, and I had mm -hmm. to decide, A, if I wanted to keep working. Mm -hmm. I think I was a little burned out. And I also had to decide what I could do. And I wanted to find something that I had a little more control over. So I wasn't sitting mm -hmm. at home just with my fingers right. crossed going, please somebody call my agent. Yeah. And, um, and so I thought about education because at the time there weren't classes all over the place. Mm -hmm. And you had to go to LA or New York to, to learn professional makeup artistry. Right. And I thought we should be able to do that here. Dallas is such a big city. It Texas really is. is a huge state, right? Mm -hmm. You know. So I was like, hey, I'm good at that. So I'm going to put together my own curriculum and start a school. Wow. So what are, what are your favorite classes to teach? I like them all. Yeah. Uh, I think my color theory and flesh tone is really fun because it's so 
it's playful. You know, you're making yeah. colors and you're mixing things together. And I really enjoy that because there's a lot of aha moments for people. Yeah. So it's mind blowing. It is. And I love it. I was in the class in LA that you were yeah. at. And then I did a class in New York uh, in December and somebody literally like went, wow. <laughs> right. and they just got so excited. So I think that one's one of my favorites. And then I do a portfolio build class where mm -hmm. I bring in professional models and an amazing photographer and makeup artists come spend two days with me and we shoot things for their book. So I'm like wow. the creative director, which is so Yay. fun. <laughs> and we design the looks, practice the looks, and then do the photo shoot. And I love the creative possibilities of that. And okay. so it's really gotten me out of my box too because mm -hmm. I'm trying to help them be their best artists and, and take their skills and what they envision and make it reality. Absolutely. So that one's been a lot of fun too. That's I amazing. like them all. But. Yeah, of course. And I love that you still, you still take jobs. Mm -hmm. I try you to. Still, you know, are still a working makeup artist and also teach. I think that's so important. I do too, because there's too many new cameras out there, too yeah. many new lighting systems. And if I don't know what they are and what they do, then I can't be relevant as a teacher. And I really pride myself on teaching professional makeup artistry, mm -hmm. you know, makeup for HD, makeup for a still camera, makeup for, you know, a television camera that, you know, skills that you can utilize regardless of your medium. And right. so if I don't know what the medium's like, yeah, then I can't do that. I can't teach that. Yeah. Right. That makes sense. That totally makes sense. What is, um, your favorite part about makeup? I think I like to break it down. Okay. I, I like to look at a, a very clean image and see where the light hits it and where there's shadow and where the, the bone curves. And, and that's what really excites me. The color of things really excites me. Yeah. I mean, obviously, I'm so obsessed with color now. <laughs> Definitely. And so I like to see the kind of the simple pieces that come together to make a beautiful image. Yeah. And I think, as a side note, one of the most beautiful things about your classes is the way that you break down. Because makeup is not just about throwing product on someone's face. It's right. really, you know, like you were saying, it's analyzing the lighting, like looking at the textures of things. And it's just so much more than we think that it is. Oh, yes. Yeah. It's, I think people think that makeup is like paint by number. Right. You put the yellow triangle here <laughs> and the white stripe here and the yes. brown stripe there. And it's not. It's like it's like getting a blob of clay and having to make it into a beautiful human face. Mm -hmm. Right? We have these little round canvases that we work <laughs> on and we decide what comes forward and what pushes back and yeah. and what colors we want to make it and I, I just think it's fascinating. I love it. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. If you want more information on Terry Tomlinson Makeup Studio or the Flesh Tone Color Bureau, I'm going to link all of it in the description box below. As always, there are more tips and tricks on Facebook and Instagram at Makeup by Shanna Marie. I hope you guys are having a great week. Definitely don't forget to check out the other parts of this interview, which I'll link on the screen now. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.